Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another hair video, if you guys couldn't tell. This piece needs to do what I ask it to do because it's just being annoying. <laughs> Today's video is another pick and mix range from Mark Hill. Um, this is the Glam Bar. I think it's from the Y2K collection. I think, anyway. Um, but yeah, I um, if you want to see how I got this, my hair is very poof i didn't realize how poof it was and it's like really like flat up here i don't know why it's so flat up there i don't understand that one but um if you want to see how i use the barrel it's on here it's cooling down right now because i finished curling my hair um then keep on watching i do not have makeup on in this video you're probably used to at this point <laughs> um but yeah i'll just i do one section of my hair um and then show you how i zhuzh it out um so yeah just on with the video <laughs> okay so i only have this little section to do if you know my videos by now when i curl my hair i chuck everything behind me and like clip it all back so it's out of my way and i only what i then i can then tell which sections i'm working on so i've just finished off this so i've done everything apart from this one section in the top um i just i find it easier to do these videos this way where i curl the rest of my hair first i've been carrying my mouth <laughs> where i curl the rest of my hair first leave one section at the top and then i curl the top bit with you so i can do it in real time i can do a little bit of chatting i guess um this is the first video the first hair video i've done with my black and red hair um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos and I didn't realise. I've been doing them every month and uh, I think I did like a month and a half or two months between. I'm really sorry. Um, I just haven't had, I haven't had the energy to do uh, a hair video. Um, anyway, <laughs> so the curler we're using, don't actually have the box here. It's the, well, it's Mark Hill. All the videos have been doing are Mark Hill for hair curling videos anyway uh this is the pick and mix glam bar it was in the newer collection i think it was the y2k collection again i think um it on here it looked like it looks like a triangle the way they've pictured it actually it's more of like a rectangle i need to be careful because this is actually on really hot um so far i've i like how the curls are turning out um but yeah, I thought it was a triangle. I don't know why. And even I took it out of the box and went, hang on a minute, it's a rectangle. I'm confused. Um, but yeah, it is rectangular. Um, I chose the curl fix handle for this because I'm curling my hair. Unlike with the straightener, the crimper or the mermaid waver, um, I need to get in there, you know, rather than with the normal handle. Um, so I changed it to the curl fix and it's like cut now. Um, so... I've got this section left. I have already sprayed heat protection spray in my entire head, <laughs> my entire head, in my entire head full of hair. Um, before I started filming this video, I I normally I, I used to use two heat proof gloves. I now only use one if I'm curling my hair or doing anything like that because what is the point in wearing two? I'm holding the thing with one hand and it's not going to be warm like that. I don't know. So I'm going to take this section down. Um, these clips, by the way, they're just from Amazon, I believe. I think I got them from Amazon. So I just brushed the entire section out first. And then we start working from the back. Okay, that was a very, not very good section. There we go, something like that. And I brush every sec. Even when I don't curl my hair, if I straighten my hair, I, I brush every section. And you just wrap it around like you would normally wrap your hair around a curler, basically. I don't know if there's any other way of doing this. I have no blooming idea. Um, I guess with this one, you don't have to hold. Like I, I always, I've been doing this and like holding my curls in between. I guess you don't have to. The same, you don't have to pin. I think you don't have to pin the curls. I think this is main. I mean, it says creates loose curls and waves for a soft glam look. I mean. She's got like <laughs> gorgeous curls to be fair. 
I think I will comb this out a little bit. Um, there we go. That's what they look like straight off the curler. I know it's kind of hard to see because my hair in this back bit is black. Um, but yeah, I just do that and then I alternate the sections um, in between. So I did a waist and now we do towards. And yeah, I guess you don't have to hold the, like, you don't have to hold it when it comes off the curler. I just do because sometimes my hair is a bit stubborn and doesn't like it when I just let it go. It just sort of falls out. <laughs> um, and when I pin my bits back, by the way, like this, I make sure that each bit is cool before I pin them. So this one... I'm going to do it in this bit in three. So I'll do one away and then towards and then away. I do every sec every every time I curl my hair, I do the bits around my face away from my face, if that makes sense. So these red bits will all go away. <laughs> um, but the rest of my hair is alternating. So it'll be like front, back, front, back, front, back, forward, backwards, forwards, backwards. Is that kind of the way it'd go? I don't even know anymore. But yeah, oh, ignore this mark. I burnt myself. <laughs> I was helping my boyfriend with cooking and I burnt myself. That was a dumb move. So yeah, then I'd split this bit into two. Also, the further up, the further towards my head I go, the smaller the sections I do because the bits around my face, especially, and like the bits on top, they you get you play with those a bit more. So they're gonna get messed up easier. So it's probably best to do them in smaller sections and maybe hold the iron longer, I don't know. Um, I'm finding that this thing gets really, really hot. So I guess it doesn't really matter as much, but um, this is it's getting really hot in my hand as I'm holding it. <laughs> These heatproof gloves are only from Amazon. The, the, the Mark Hill kit, but the initial like curling, the actual handles do come with a um a heat proof free finger glove thing but you need proper gloves trust me these things get super hot there we go the last section is going to be away from my face and then we're done curling and then i'm going to let everything i'm going to let this top section cool and then we're going to mess around with it i guess but yeah i love how my hair with two colors in it now because you can see all the different tones not different tones the colors look really cool against each other and i feel like when you're curling your hair you can really see it this is so hot i'm gonna turn that curling iron off now because it's so 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 hot there we go oh. <laughs> didn't want to come down but yeah that is sort of what they look like coming straight off the curler i'm gonna let these ones cool and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna mess around with it a bit i think because if they all of them are gonna be this tight <laughs> i am gonna have to do something <laughs> so i'll be back when these this section is cooler okay this is kind of cooler now i'm gonna take these clips out so i just like i said i just clip the bits back once they're cool and let it out a little bit so you can sort of see it has given some volume, whereas the other one, it's around here somewhere. I always part my hair on the side. So look, it looks very, very crazy right now. This looks very poodly. Wow, poodly. This would be where, if you wanted to brush your hair, you could. Um, I like to take either my fingers or a wide tooth comb. I have broken the end off of this one. Um, and you could also use some texture spray. So either, or hairspray actually, I could probably use hairspray, I probably should use some hairspray, but um, I'm not going anywhere, so there's no point. Um, you can either use like a sea salt spray, or I've got this dry texture spray from Chris and S. Um, I've got this in Boots in the UK, if you're curious. Um, it does, it's literally just like, it's not, it's like an aerosol. So I'm going to spray um, some of this on now. Um, and then I'm going to run my fingers through it. And if I need the comb, I need the comb. But if that sets the fire alarm off, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> um, 
so and then we just pull apart the curls a bit um what i have found with this with this curler because it's got like the um corners on it is it does create dents in some of your hair like bits of your hair it's kind of strange but um i have a float your boat i guess and then just find your parting i mean this does create some very jesus my hair <laughs> very big curls um like very like lots of volume like jesus i didn't realize my hair was all this bloody poofy jesus <laughs> um i mean if you wanted volume this gives you volume <laughs> Um, I haven't curled my hair since it's been black and red for, well, not for a long time. This is actually, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I would use this curler anyway. Um, I'd actually take bigger sections, I think. Um, because this is very poof. <laughs> also, it's very flat here. Um. I don't know why. I don't know why it goes like that, but. Yeah, um, very poof, very, very poof. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this where I do my hair, I have got a playlist linked in the description box. If not, it's on my channel somewhere of Mark, I think it's called Mark Hill Pick and Mix or something like that. Um, and I've done so many of these videos before. I've got uh, the straightener, I've got the crimper, I've got the mermaid waver, the deep waver, all the curling barrels. <laughs> I think I'm missing a few and I need to film with a few. And other than that, I've done all of them. Um, the, I haven't done corkscrew yet. Corkscrew is going to be a task. I am not prepared for that one. We will need like a few hours to curl my hair with that one because damn... <laughs> It takes so long. I might just have to do one section or something and just show you how to do it because um, <sighs> I don't have the time for that these days. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. So bye guys.